Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to revise the lesson Try and Two Umti Bungalow. Okay. So you know, uh, this is a Try and Two Umti Bungalow. This is a very funny insect. When I taught you, so you know that. Okay. The picture is also given. Okay. See the picture. So this is a very funny insect. Try and Two Umti Bungalow. Bungalow. There is a very funny insect that you do not often spy, and it isn't quite a spider, and it isn't quite a fly. It is something like a beetle. Beetle, just see, what I okay? Something like a beetle, and a little like a bee, and it is little like a bee, but nothing like a woolly grub that climbs upon a tree. its name is quite a hard one its name is quite hard one but you will learn it soon i hope so try 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 and t one t gongo lo so he, here it is written try try anti onti gongolo see the name so you have to practice try anti onti gongolo okay so it's a, it's a very uh, we can say uh, tricky name try anti onti gongolo okay like this so it lives on weeds and wetel gum it eats weeds and wetel gum the what weeds jo hote na wo khata hai and wetel gum has a funny face face ekdam funny rehta hai okay so as i said to me do uske like spring like it is so see the and tell see the insect see his eyes and mouth and uh, portion and legs okay so it is quite funny insect its appetite is hearty and it manners or disgrace its manners or disgrace when first you come upon it when first you come upon it it will give you quite a scare it will give you quite a scare but when you look for it again when you look for it again you find it isn't there you find it isn't there and unless you call it softly it will stay away and walk if you have you have to uh, call him very softly okay it will stay away and mop so try try anti wanti gongolo like this again you have to try like try anti wanti gongolo okay it trembles if you tickle it or tread upon it toes it is not an early riser wo jaldi nahi uthta it is not an early riser but it has a snubbish nose nose whether the snubbish nose if you sneer at it or scold it it will scuttle off in shame it will scuttle off in shame but it purrs and purrs quite proudly if you call it by its name and offer it some sandwiches of ceiling bags and so so try 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 and to empty gumbalo offer ceiling bags and and so but of course you haven't seen it 
I truthfully convinced that I haven't seen it either. I don't know its address, for there isn't such an insect, though they really might have been. If the trees and grass were purple and the sky was bottle green, it's just a little joke of mine. But such an insect is not there. If the trees and grass, which was which was green in color, but it were be purple. If it is purple and the sky was bottle green, it's just a little joke of mine. Which you will forgive, I hope. Oh, try. Try and tinti kamalu. So, which will be for you, I hope. Okay, try. So, it is just an imaginary insect. Okay. So here, C. is the insect described in the, in the poem is real insect, think about an imaginary creature. So, this imaginary creature is or uh, original, hai, you have to think and describe it in your own words. You may draw its picture and label it. See, its, its picture is like this. So, you can draw easily. Fly just a bit, but it is like a beetle. So, you can draw this, this picture. His uh, tail, uh, his uh, what we can see, spring like a. Uh, Antennas are there on his head. So you can try its, uh, we can see the, you can draw its picture. Okay, try and do it. So again, I'll just uh, recite this poem. See, there is a fun, very funny insect that you do not often spy. And it isn't quite to a spider and it isn't quite a fly. It is something like a beetle and a little like a bee, but nothing like a uli grub that climbs upon the tree. Its name is quite a hard one, but you will learn it soon. I hope so. Try. So try, try anti unti gumbalo, try anti unti gumbalo. It lies on weeds and wetel gum and has a funny face. Its appetite is hearty and its manners are disgrace. When first you come upon it, it will give you quite a scare. But when you look for it again, you find it isn't there. And unless you call it softly, it will stay away. And mock. So try and be on Tikkumbula. Try and be on Tikkumbula. Next. It resembles if you tickle it or tread upon its toes. It is not an early riser, but it has some issues. If you sneer at it or scold it, it will stumble off in shame, but it purrs and purrs quite proudly if you call it by its name. And offer it some sandwiches, feeling backs and so. So try anti wonti kumbalo. Try anti wonti kumbalo. But of course you haven't seen it. But of course you haven't seen it. And I truthfully confess that I haven't seen it either. I don't know its address. For there isn't such an answer. Though there really might have been. If the trees and grass were purple and the sky was bottle green, it's just a little joke of mine, which you will for you. I hope, oh, try, 
tri anti one p bromide or tri anti one p bromide so this is the whole note that we say its appetite its manner and not its appetite and its manners it means it is and it means belonging to it see i have told you what is the difference between this see i p apostrophe s is the meaning of that it is it means apostrophe s so it is and we will uh, stop here okay so this is the simple poem just you have to recite it in hard words go and search at hard words okay uh, uh rhyming words go to the rhyming words so now you know how to go, uh, identify the rhyming words of the poem understood everybody knows okay so go through it we'll stop here okay bye this is the poem do your homework